John makes an investment of $9,600 into an account that pays interest compounded annually. In addition, he makes a yearly deposit of $110. At the end of five years, his balance is $14,600. Determine the interest he earned on the savings account, round to two decimal places. We will answer this question using the TVM solver on the T84. Let's begin by determining the required information. Capital N is the total number of payment periods or compounding periods. And because the interest is compounded annually, and he also makes annual deposits, N is the number of years in five years, which is five. So capital N is five. If the interest was compounded quarterly and he made quarterly deposits, N would be five times four or 20. If the interest was compounded monthly and he made monthly deposits, N would be five times 12 or 60. But in this case, the interest is compounded annually and he makes annual deposits. I percent is the annual interest rate, which we are solving for, we'll come back to this. PV is the present value, which is the beginning amount. And because he started by depositing $9,600 and he paid this amount, the present value is negative 9,600. PMT is the payment amount, which is $110 per year. Again, because he's paying this amount, the payment is negative 110. The future value is the ending amount or accumulated value, which in this case is 14,600. And this is positive because this would be money coming back to John if he cashed out the account. And the number of payment periods per year and the number of compounding periods per year are both one because the interest is compounded annually and because he's making yearly deposits. And now we go to the calculator and solve for I percent. From the home screen, we press apps, enter, enter, and enter the information. Capital N is five, enter. We are solving for I percent, so we come back to this, enter. The present value is negative 9,600. Again, because he paid this amount, it's negative, enter. The payment is negative 110 because he pays this amount every year, enter. We know the future value is positive 14,600 because that's the account balance, which would be money coming back to John if he cashed out the account, enter. And the payments per year and compounds per year are both one, enter. And now we go back up to I percent and to solve for the interest rate, we press alpha enter. And we're told to round to two decimal places because we have a two in the third decimal place, you round down to 7.77%. So John's annual percentage rate on this investment was 7.77%. I hope you found this helpful.